Because of the unseasonal great weather we're having this January 2014, I thought I'd film this intro in the back garden. Uh, we had a, court, a letter from a debt collector alleging we owed 13 and a half K. Um, so I called them up. And although we've been saying it for a while, you'll see in the uh, video, uh, I say it again and they confirm it. Watch the video, listen, pay attention. Just got a letter from Raven Recoveries, so I'm going to give them a bell. You should see in the letter. O three three O, no O three three. I'll put an extra O in here. O three three three. So that's 0333 Your call may be recorded for training and monitoring purposes. Your call may be recorded for YouTube purposes. Uh, no, I've just got a letter from you today, so I'm just phoning up um, to see. Uh, it's, it's dated the 10th of January and it says, Dear me, owing to you not having a payment arrangement in place with MK Rapid Recoveries, they have instructed us to collect the outstanding balance uh, you have with them. Payment of the full balance should be made upon receipt of this letter unless you can provide us with a reason for not being able to make full payment. Um, well, the reason is, all the other get debt companies before you tried to get some money out of me and didn't manage it. I'm just wondering what makes you think that I'm going to pay you anything? Well, first of all, sir, can we start by giving me your reference number? No, because I'm not going to pay you. I'm not going to contract with you. The reason that I'm not going to be paying you is I have no contract with you. I had a no contract with the original creditor, which was Lloyds Bank, I just had an agreement and then they sold it on to various different companies who I didn't, have, didn't even have an agreement with and um, so I'm just wondering how do you think you're going to get me to pay when no other company before you has managed? Well I can't discuss anything with you sir unless I hear I'm speaking with. Well you're speaking to me, I'm known as Salon and if you want to go on getoutofdebtfree.org you'll be able to see this video of this recording uh, which will be up there later on today. But via YouTube, of course. Well, you see, I don't need you to help me. It's quite simply, I'm not going to be paying you a single penny. But I'm just informing. Well, it's entirely up to you, sir. Uh, exactly. What, what, what? The reason for that is, when I, if it was for a loan, when I took out the loan, I went into the bank and I filled out an agreement. Then, when I signed the agreement. It changed it from an agreement into a promissory note, which the bank then securitizes. Basically, they sell it on. So the money that came for, from the loan, I actually created, but they conned me. They scammed me. Now I know that sounds a little. I know that sounds a little bit. I can't discuss the situation. Yeah, no, I'm just phoning you up to educate you on the on how the financial system works. And like I say, if you go and get out of debtfree.org. You'll see the video, but you'll also see many other videos where we've dealt with debt collectors and bailiffs and all that type of thing. Basically, the whole system is a fraudulent system set up to defraud every member of public, including yourself. Right, so I can't discuss this with you. If you're not going to give me a reference number or advise me how to speak it with, then we can't continue with the phone call. Well, the, the, the actual amount is for apparently about £13,500. So, but, can you just explain to me, if Lau, who was the, uh, the, the creditor before you, and there were many creditors before that, or should I say actual debt collectors, um, how, how, if Lau couldn't get it, how are you going to be able to? I can't discuss any information, sir. I don't even know who I'm speaking with. You're not prepared to give me the reference number, so we can't continue with the phone call. So, what you're saying is then, if I give you a reference number or a name, you'll be able to help me? I'll be, if you go through it, you'll know your database and your address, I'll be 
So h- how would you be able to help me? Well, don't you have a speaking with you sp- you're speaking to Salon from Get Out of Debt Free. I've just told you, you're speaking to Salon from Get Out of Debt Free. If you go on there, you'll see loads of YouTube uh, clips. I don't want to go on there, but if you're not going to give me your reference number, I can't help you. So basically, if I don't give you my name, if I don't give you a reference number, there's nothing you can do. Is that what you're saying? Well, yeah, but even if I gave you those details, how would you help me when I've already said I won't be paying? I can't give you any information, sir, because you haven't gone through security with myself, so I can't actually, I can't help you. But it's not security, is it? It's just gaining joinder with my uh, fictional person. Right, so if you're not prepared to give me the reference number, then I'm going to have to end the call, OK? Because you're not getting anywhere with this. Well, we're getting as far as you're going to get. We're getting as far as you're going to get. But by the way, what, what, who am I talking to? My name's Carly, and you've gone through to the Compello Group. Oh, the, well, the, so the Compello Group actually run Raven Recoveries then? We've got a number of different departments within the company, sir. And, and They're all part of the Compello Group. You do realise, of course, that every single one of them is committing fraud. You do realise that every single company in the Compello Group is committing fraud. Right, okay, so that, that's helpful. If you're not going to give me your reference number, then I can't continue you with the call. Okay, thank you for your time today. Thank you. There we go. There we go yet again. We've been saying it for ages and ages. If you don't give your details, there's nothing they can do. We love you. Have fun.